We want to write a simple program composed of two functions. The first function is print x, and all it does is just printing the letter x. The second function is called multiple x. It receives a number as an argument, and what it does, it prints x's that many times that the number argument indicates. And that happens by calling print x, basically. Inside the main program, we first want to ask the user how many times uh, he or she wants the letter x to be printed. And then we need to call multiple x and supply the, the number that the user uh, um, basically supplied to us. And so it's very important that we understand the, the specifications of each of our functions. In here, multiple x doesn't read the number, the main program reads the number. Again, it's very important that you implement function exactly as the specification tells you, because maybe somewhere else in your code or the designer or the architect of the program have plans for other piece of the code, for example, to use that. So even if your program works as, as expected, but doesn't follow the specification, your program is wrong. So it's very important that you completely understand the specification and implement the function exactly as it's required. So we want to have two functions. The first function is being called by the second function. So because print x needs to be called by multiple x, we have to declare it before multiple x. So print x is the first function to be declared. It's quite simple. All it does, it just prints the letter x. Then we can define the next form function. It's multiple x. It receives uh, one input argument, so let's say num. So what it needs to do inside multiple x to keep calling this print x function this number of times. We have repetition here. The moment that we have repetition, our be the best tool that we can use is loops. Then the question becomes which loop to select. Do we need to do it with a, with a while loop or a for loop? We can do it with both. But because we know exactly how many times we want to call this function, we know that it's number time, this num times. We want to call this function. A for loop is much easier in our case. If we don't know how many times we want to run the function, all we know is as long as a condition applies, then we need to use a while loop. But here, as I, as I explained, we know how many times we want to run we want to call this print x function, so we're just going to use a for loop. And that's basically our second function. Now, inside the program, we need to ask, inside the main program, we need to ask the user to enter a value for num and we're going to read it as integer. Okay. And once done, we just call multiple x and supply the number that we just read from the user. Let's run it. How many times would you like this to be printed? Let's say seven times. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven times. We run it again. This time we want to want to run it for print x four times. And here it is.